are going to see a Cavs game Wednesday the 20th. A couple of weeks away, the Cavs are going to take on the Miami Heat. So I get you two tickets here and celebrating the launch of Circle K's Inner Circle Rewards Program. All the prizes I've got today, I'm throwing in that $100 Circle K gas card. So sign up for Circle K Inner Circle. You do it from one of the stores. You do it online, circlek.com. And until 6 o'clock today, all those Cleveland, Akron, Circle K stores are dropping the price of gas. you got to get gas on the way home before 6, dip into a Circle K, get 30 cents off a gallon. Cavs tickets, the Heat in town, the 20th, two of them for you, car 10. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. One of life's most pressing questions. What do I like about Alan Cox? Finally answered. Um, all right, I don't like much about you. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. Mary, your thoughts? On this? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Brand new metal. I'm playing some tomorrow night. Sorry, Saturday night. Ooh, I'm a day ahead. I've already wiped the uh, One Chip Challenge out of my brain. Saturday night, we do our metal show here on The Buzzard. It's called Two Hours to Midnight. And as the name implies, it starts at 10 o'clock. This is Skeletal Remains. The brand new I stuff. See. It's fine until they start this trap. Good grief. What? What's your problem with his singing? I don't like it. Mm. You knew that. Two hours of metal Saturday night. Me and Corey Roddick and Pat Butler, we all throw in, play your requests, play local music, play a brand new spanking stuff <laughs> from bands like this. Skeletal Remains and... We go back, throw in a bunch of classics. I got some Pestilence from the mid-'80s I'm going to play for you and throw in some KMFDM, and there's brand-new Ministry we're going to do. And, man, it's a lot of fun. It's called Two Hours to Midnight, Saturday nights, uh, right here on the buzzard. Uh, Cavs lose in Atlanta last night. No game tonight, but they'll be back home tomorrow night uh, to host the Minnesota Timberwolves at the Romo Fijo. 7.30 start. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock is your pregame on the buzzard. But 100.7 WMMS and uh, the iHeartRadio app, uh, too, if you're inclined. Uh, comedian Alonzo Bowden is back in here in a little bit. He's doing the weekend at Hilarities. So you can go to pickwickandfrolic.com uh, for the details on that. And... Um, Everybody's talking about this guy who got 129 COVID vaccinations, and he's okay. I I, I don't know what they Why thought would was. Why do that? Well, it sounds like he he said he did it for personal reasons, but I think people are implying this is a German guy, and I think he's in his early 60s, and I think they're perhaps implying that he's on the spectrum. Um. But I'm surprised that you could even, like, anybody would do that to you, right? A German guy was vaccinated 100, I'm sorry, 217 times against COVID. And uh, doctors can't figure out why nothing bad happened to him. Uh, in fact, just the opposite. Safe. His hearing has improved immensely. Because of the three ears on his back now. Hell, uh-huh. hell. No, but I mean, I don't, um, uh, because I guess they have the people who are kind of looking into this. There are reports of, you know, people on the spectrum who who get lots of shots for things. And they're, you know, so they're thinking maybe that was the situation with this guy. But they've been studying him, a German man, 62 years old, who received over 200 COVID vaccinations. And um, it's no worse for wear. Uh, they found they did a whole report on the guy after they heard about him. The scientists uh, writing an article for uh, the Lancet Infectious Diseases Journal. And who can put that down? Has he gotten COVID? He hasn't gotten COVID. 
Maybe he's on to something. Maybe he is. And enjoy that irony, Fox News. Autism caused vaccination in this case. <laughs> so they met the guy and invited him to be a, a, a guinea pig so they could study him. And he said, uh, Yavol! Or he probably said, sure. And uh, he gave them uh, new saliva and blood samples and access to previous blood samples. And uh, they noted that he had done it deliberately uh, for, quote, private reasons. He got 217 vaccinations within a 29-month time span. I mean, just having that much time to get anything done, I'm impressed. Like well, those Germans are nothing if not efficient. That, uh, that's just the level of commitment. I don't like, like, I'm not adverse to getting shots, but it still takes up part of your day to try and go and get one. Obviously, uh, there there are no vaccination recommendations that imply you should get that many. There's not? <laughs> that many, no. There's not yet. No. Nope. <clears throat> he insisted on getting uh, one more shot. During his time with the people researching him. This guy loves getting shots. Man. And so they're studying this guy, and uh, they're like, well, he, he's definitely an outlier. I mean, there's people who got one shot, and it knocked him on their ass, right? Just the, the, yeah. the, the, the process of getting a vaccination for a lot of people uh, knocks them out. Uh, the couple of COVID vaccinations I got, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything when I had COVID. But this guy apparently didn't feel anything either. 217 times he was up there. And loving life. Uh, the researchers thought that it would send his immune system into overdrive and rendering it not as effective at fending off COVID. But they we'll take they, that. They can't figure out why the guy is, uh, I guess, not seeing any ill effects from it. They said, amazingly, he had more T cells than the control group. So he might just be one of these, like, it sounds like he was doing a lot of testing on himself. And then when researchers caught wind of it, they were like, hey, we'd like to figure out what's going on here, too. No noticeable side effects from him having over 200 vaccinations. What he should say is, I mean, my... D bigger, and then all of a sudden everybody's <laughs> vaccinated. Hey, how many of these can I get at once? <laughs> right next door here at the CVS, our east side CVS here at 9th and Euclid. He said uh, there are no signs that he ever contracted COVID. But obviously the people who are researching this are like, we do not endorse a hyper-vaccination. I guess that's a, uh, that's a condition that some people have or some people are prone to, they call them the hyper-vaccinated, people who are uh, through a combination of, um, I don't know, people, they keep saying on the spectrum, but that seems to mean so many things these days that I'm not quite sure what they mean. But they're studying this guy. And again, it's not like he's some young buck. He's a 62-year-old dude who, um, you know, maybe he's got uh, spider blood or something. Maybe he's a, an X-man. They're just trying to figure out what's going on with him. Alan, I feel like the real question regarding Pound Cake uh, donating his sperm is if he had a friend that wanted to have a child and needed a sperm donation, would he be willing to have sex with the woman in order to impregnate her. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I think he said he would before, right? I think so, too, yeah. Haven't you said that, Cody, that you yeah. would do that? He's, he's, not, he's not trying to keep his gold star. Well, the thing is, I, I, I would want to see what it's like, but I'm also not in the business of lying to people. Like, if she knows straight up, like, listen, I'm gay, I've been with hella dudes, if you're okay <laughs> with, you know all my bodies, and now being in your body, like, if you're cool with that, then fine. But I'm not going to lie to you. That's why I feel bad about people were like, oh, well, if you just want to lose your virginity, just don't say nothing. Pretend straight and then, you know, have some hoe do it. I'm like, no, that I'm too moral. <laughs> like, that's not people tell you moral. that? 
Yeah, there's been that's, people that, th- Those are multiple people's recommendations to you? We've talked about it on the show. People would DM me like, dude, just sleep with a girl. Like, there's a bunch of ratchet bitches around here that I'm like, I understand that they're ratchet, and they, they don't know that they're sleeping with a gay dude. Like, that's one thing. But I... I'm openly gay on the radio. But also, then, like, why double up on the on the bad variables? Like, I just, I, I would feel bad about it. Because yeah. That, that's Be that's up like front. a thing. That, that's like a, now I'm the DL guy that I talk about. Like, I, I hate that. <laughs> like, I hate when dudes are, they lie to me. Like, they'll say, oh, like, I'm not with anybody. And then, you know, they got a whole chick and family on the side. Now I'm that dude. Only the opposite way. I'm gay. Now how do you find that out? Find out what? They lied. Uh, you do a little searching. Like, if they're doing too much, like, if they got an extra Instagram and they ain't got that many followers, I'm like, okay, so you're— Yeah, but you'd find that out before. Not if it's a hookup. Like, I'm not doing a deep dive. Like, You're I'm, not. Like, I'm not d- dating someone. That's something—if I do a hookup, like, I probably met them on Grinder, mm. and then, you know, that that's what it is. I don't need— You don't them. do a quick background check. No. I don't know their last name. Like, they could be lying about their name, honestly. I, matter of fact, I was just well. Then how do you find that information afterwards? If it becomes a reoccurring thing. Oh, then they like, eventually give you their last. I was name. telling the story to a friend of mine. I forgot all about this um, years ago. Back when I when I was in college, I was on summer break, um, and there was a guy uh, at a college <laughs> that uh, he was like an RA, and we were hooking up, and uh, this was like for a couple weeks, maybe even like. A, a good portion of the summer and he didn't have his name on his grinder it just had like a letter um and so i think he told me his name initially but i forgot and after so many times i felt it was really embarrassing to ask what his name was so i just never knew his name and i think he found out that i didn't know his name and he got offended <laughs> and stopped talking to yeah me. there is kind of a time frame where you have to know their name yeah, i'm like yeah. after a month and so many you know romp sessions like how do you ask that i'm like <laughs> Uh, and, and, you know, I'm in college. I'm 20-something years old. Like, I didn't know. Uh, now I would lean into it like, hey, you know, you know how we do. I, I forgot your name. This is really embarrassing. I'm a hoe. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, what is your name? Back then, I'm like, I was still in denial. Like, what I was doing <laughs> wasn't gross. Um, and I didn't know his name. And still to this day, I don't know the guy's name. Still don't know it. But, like, he told me initially and I, pun. I think I forgot, and you know I, I just kept doing it because I was like I know the person, but I don't know this dude, and I, no one was around us. It was just us for the couple weeks. So how do you? I didn't know how to initiate that. What do you do in that situation? Well, so the name thing's overrated. I mean, if you know it's not going anywhere, who cares? It was just the fact that I was like I I spent intimate moments with this dude, and you know I want to be like oh you know Rodney, you're so funny. <laughs> That never happened because I didn't know the guy's name. <laughs> oh, Percy. <laughs> oh, Eugene. Oh, Eugene. <laughs> you know? It, I, I didn't know what to do in that situation. So you asked and he got mad. No, no, I never asked, but I think he found out because I oh. I never said his name. He knew my name because, again. It's like, oh, you. <laughs> like, Mulva? Right, yeah. I, and I was like. I wait till he go to the bathroom. I'm like, does he have like a notebook or something? Yeah, check his <laughs> wallet or his phone or something. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find his name. Uh, and so after a while, I think he caught on, and then he, I think he was just like offended, and he never talked to me again after that. But it, it was a good, you know, few weeks, maybe even a month or two, that I didn't know this guy's name, and we were, you know, intimate several times. <clears throat> so no, I don't do a background check. Wow. All right. I just assumed everybody's doing them now. Because that's that, that's what people seem to refer to. Is they're always yes. checking into da- dating. I, I feel like, but there there's so many people. There's people that use fake pictures. So all I want, I'm like, let me know you're you, and then I'll assess. I'm like, can yeah, I, but nobody's can I da- take you. Nobody's <laughs> like, dating until they're dating. Like everybody hooks up a couple times and they go, well, I, not I, everyone. Really? Not, I mean, coming from the gay world, I mean. There's some guys that, like, I don't want to have all those bodies on me. There's gays that, you know. No, I understand. I'm just saying that, like, at some point you got to get some information. If you know this is someone that you're theoretically dating. Correct. You're going to get that information. So at a certain point, you you do your research. But if, if it's a hookup and you feel like it's not going to go anywhere or if you're just not in the mindset to be in a relationship right now, you're not going to do a deep dive because you're like, is the person good looking? He, he, he'll satisfy the purpose that I want him for. You know, that's it. But 
I just happen to think about that. Oh. Yes. What's up, my friend? How are you? You know who this is? I think it's Ghost Bag. Yeah, you got that right, man. I just couldn't help myself hearing you have that conversation about the, all them hookups, man. Well, I don't know it's what you It's pretty hot. It was hot back then. I just felt a little shame. How come, baby? Why do you do what you do? You know, I, you know, I like to know people's names. You never, you know my name? Ghost, last name bag? No! Uh, Dummy, I never told you my name. Well, again, I'm not hooking up with you. You spy on me. This this is not a... Uh, it's kind of the same thing, though. Actual relationship, no. Uh, we're, we're like, uh... We're like in a throuple. No. There's you, and there's somebody else. Yes. And then there's me. Yes, but you peer into places. That's a throuple, man. That's not a throuple. Uh, I don't fight it. No, that's the... That, what you're doing is wrong, ghost bag. Hmm. What if I told you my real name? I I would know you better. I would know who to report. Report? What do you mean report? Report to who? who you're you're who? peering in while I'm in my intimate moments. What are you gonna report, man? Hey, there's a floating plastic bag watching me whack off. <laughs> I feel like there's who like. Who is gonna take that report, man? There's no governing body of the ghost world. You you're not reporting it to a ghost. You'd be reporting it to somebody there. Who are you going to report that to? I believe you're, what you're asking is who you're going to call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> who would you potentially contact in that situation? Mm, ghost? Busters? I don't know, man. I don't know what that is. Well, they're not real, so. I'm just I'm telling you, man. All right. Hey, uh, good luck tomorrow. I heard you got to eat that uh, Chip. Yeah, yeah, I might be in the spirit world with you after that. Oh man, I'm ready. I got cot set up for you and everything. I I'm ready to do it. What is it? So it's a, it's a, it's a ghost pepper. It's a really, really hot chip. I think oh. it's a Carolina Reaper sprinkled yeah, with ghost and Carolina Reaper pepper. All right. Well, I don't know about no ghost pepper, but you know, I'm a ghost peeper. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Right. Well, good luck tomorrow, man, and uh, I'll be uh, I'll be kind of paying attention to see what's going on. But... As you always do. I yeah, that's it. right. Yeah. But think about that trouble, man. All right. No. Just don't. Don't put it out your head right away. Think about it. Give it some thought. Oh, I'll humor you. Don't be so. Don't be like that, man. You know I'm just having some fun with it. Yes, I do. Good luck tomorrow, and I'll, uh, I'll check in on you over the weekend. Okay. When you're shooting hot fire, sucker! <laughs> okay. Who are you going to call? I don't know. That's a good question. We're going to take a break. Comedian Alonzo Bowden is going to join us. I haven't seen him in a minute. He's doing the weekend at Hilarities.